Mr. Speaker, I rise to, to support the motion on the floor as presented by the Honorable Prime Minister. But could you um, give me leave at this time, Mr. Speaker, for me to express condolences to Senator, President of the Senate, and the Montut family in Foasso on the passing of one of the family members, father of a gentleman who was not too long ago murdered in the community. So it's double jeopardy, double sadness for the family, the people of Foasso and in Babunu. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate, I want to join my fellow minister with responsibility for tourism and creative industries in congratulating our young persons who have done excellently, especially in the shows that have gone ahead of the main carnival celebration where we have our kings and queens who grace us with their presence this morning. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing them to be with us today. And I want to thank the students from the Birmingham University who have made St. Lucia a very safe haven for them to engage in their practices and preparation for higher education. I thank them for their presence this morning. I also want to, well, our king in Babono was dethroned. <laughs> Calypso King was dethroned, but it's always the best that wins, Mr. Speaker, and I congratulate the Calypso King. However, I want to congratulate the Court Babono Steel Orchestra for maintaining the, the reign as champion for the panorama. And I will not be... I will not allow any other parliamentarian to harass me, Mr. Speaker, I need protection, <laughs> that um, when we try to give other constituencies a little glory, they try to take advantage of the situation. Um, so sometimes it's your neighbor Member, that do you Member these Obama, no, do you deny that you get safe haven there? Did I deny? Do you deny that you get safe haven in the adjoining constituency for the steel ban? No, no, no. What we said, we, there was an agreement, there was an MOU sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Those who inherited the constituency have not read the MOU. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I speak in this house because the people in Babono elected me to represent them, and I thank them for that opportunity. And I will not be dragged into the discussion when some members opposite have raised the fact that um, I speak loudly in the House but not out there. And on the passport issue, I hope, Mr. Speaker, they are hearing the good news coming out of the Immigration Department. And I will continue to speak loud in this House, Mr. Speaker, so that I give my constituency and the people of St. Lucia very good representation. I want to congratulate the primary schools in Babono at the CPEA exam, where every single school, there are six primary schools in Babono, every single school scored above the mean in this exam. And that is a record, that's history for Babono. And I also want to congratulate uh, Mr. Terence Erasmus Finelo, who retired as principal last month, where he served the Babolo Secondary School from inception for 24 years, Mr. Speaker. That is what you call service. Mr. Speaker, back to the motion at hand. And the motion at hand, Mr. Speaker, speaks to just a few critical points. Promise made, promise kept. And if you look 
other Prime Minister's budget address of 2023-24 on page 67 the Prime Minister speaks and he promised to give the St. Lucian people zero rated on lumber, cement, galvanized, steel, plywood, and he has delivered even more than what he promised the people. And Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister and the Cabinet colleagues, Cabinet of Ministers, added sanitary towels, pads, and tampons, napkins, and similar articles of any material. Mr. Speaker, when I stand in this house and I say that the Prime Minister, I have a Prime Minister who is gender sensitive. I have a Prime Minister who leads a cabinet that is gender sensitive. That is another testimony that we have a government that is gender sensitive, where they added this very essential item for zero rated item in this bill, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I say this because I speak from experience. In 2007, when we had Hurricane Ivan in Grenada. At the time, I was heading a regional international organization. And when I tried to make contact with the victims of the hurricane in Grenada, and we asked them we had to go via Trinidad to enter into Grenada, and we asked them what, even though we could bring, if we could bring a box of items, what are some of the things that they would want? And Mr. Speaker, it was at that time, it hit me home as a woman and understanding the plights of women that they said bringing candles, matches, and they added sanitary napkins to that list. And there I realized how important that item is on any shopping list for a woman at whatever age level that they have to use it. Mr. Speaker, on a lighter note, I think even men may want to use that item too. So we are actually futuristic in thinking. Mr. Speaker, this bill will bring relief, as has been articulated earlier by my colleagues, to every single person in St. Lucia who wants to access these materials. And I say relief in the sense that as parliamentary rep, we experience what happens on a daily basis when our constituents have to access lumber, cement, galvanized steel, plywood, and as the Prime Minister eloqu eloquently articulated the sanitary napkin <clears throat> story. That some people are delaying these activities to build, to construct roads, to fix drains, because they tell you the little dollar cannot stretch that far, Mr. Speaker. And when they heard the Prime Minister promise that there will be a zero rated um, application to these um, materials, they have held back purchase. They are waiting. And even my fellow parliamentarians are also waiting so that whatever we do in the constituency will be stretched. It will give the people a little more disposable income so that they can make ends meet. This is a government that puts people first. And when we say it, we don't only say it, but we put it in action, Mr. Speaker. Exercise idea, Mr. Speaker. Let nous parler à ce gouvernement qui concerne about moon. Malewe, moon qui a bousé. Avec premier ministre, avec ses membres cabinet là, c'est ça qui a caché les 
et premier ministre n'a dit même cabinet yo wété on on est du temps qu'a discuter point pour nous garder qui manière nous qu'a faire bagaille plus meilleur bay c'est mon qui plus en bousin à cette liste et ça c'est un gouvernement qui concerné et qui a mettre mon premier nous qu'a mettre mon avant les autres bagailles Mr speaker I tell my people in my constituency that we have one prime minister. We say PM. But we are MPs, meaning members of parliament. So you can switch the letter around, PM or MP. So when we are MPs, we are members of parliament. But when we have to manage our constituency, Mr. Speaker, we are prime ministers in our constituencies because we have to deal with every situation in the con constituency. We have to deal with health. We have to deal with tourism. We have to deal with agriculture. We have to deal with infrastructure. We have to deal with youth and sports. We have to deal with housing and local government. We have to deal with equity. We have to deal with our own external internal affairs. We have to deal with our finances. We have to deal with employment, water, electricity, roads, everything your constituent need, you as member of parliament has to deal. And that's why you say you're prime minister of your constituency. So when we hear this bill, Mr. Speaker, speaks to bringing relief to the people in our constituency, it is bringing great satisfaction to our members of parliament because we have to face the reality on the ground. Mr. Speaker, when I visit the community of Babolo and I go into these areas and you know the terrain in Babolo is not an easy terrain, the mountains, the hills, the valleys and the slopes, and you see some of the houses in which people live, Mr. Speaker, this bill, Mr. Speaker, will bring great relief to these people so that they can improve on their houses. They can add toilets to their homes. They can repair some of the rotten plywood that they have. They can add a little bit of concrete to their homes. And this is what this bill is set out there, to stretch the dollar so that more persons can have improved quality of homes, better roads to their homes, and improve the infrastructure in the, in the community. Mr. Speaker, I speak again, because when I hear we talk about contractors in our community, persons only think of contractors in terms of construction, and construction meaning using lumber, cement, galvanized steel, plywood. But this will add support to the women contractors after they have taken the little contract and they pay the laborers to do the work, sometimes they have nothing left for themselves because they are not masons, they are not um, carpenters, they are not electricians, they are not plumbers. So you find the women, they have to struggle to get a little dollar out of a little contract. And I'm saying if the material, they, they will pay less for the material, that will be a savings for them, Mr. Speaker. And I have done the mathematics. Women are among the greatest economists because they know how to manage the money in the home and they will be able to stretch that so that they can put food on the table for the children, especially the single mothers who are struggling with the children. School is reopening in a while and they will come and they want books. They want uniform, they want everything. And Mr. Speaker, every dollar that is left in the hands of the people will make a difference to the quality of life. And on that note, I support this bill 100%. And I will ensure that the people in my constituency, the people in St. Lucia in general, will benefit from this bill. And I'm very proud that the Prime Minister has kept his word because many times they say they bluff. 
They say that they will do this. They say they will do that. And they're not saying it. But this prime minister keeps to his word. And after he has written it in the book, he delivers. And he even puts a little top up on it. Because he didn't have sanitary napkins and towel in his budget. And look, it's appearing here. And the women in St. Lucia will celebrate that. Because they will, be able, they will benefit from it. Mr. Speaker, Masado, Mokota, Bill Salah, Premier Minister, Mete ici en house la hodia. Et ça, c'est un bill qui a mené bon soulagement by saint lucien Principalement, saint lucien qui plie en bousin. Et qui a pris femme qui a servi sanitary napkin. Il a acheté ça tous les mois. Là, il y a un mois, Mr. Speaker. Moi, il y a un mois. Right? Là, il y a un mois. Il y a un mois pour servir sanitary napkin. Et ça, c'est tous les mois, il y a un mois pour acheter ça. Et il y a un mois pour acheter ça. Et ça, c'est un mois qui est important. Donc, Mr. Speaker, je vais supporter Bill Salah. Et je vais dire que c'est le monde qui est dans ce genre de business 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 get the benefit of that bill. And we are looking forward to the implementation of this bill and let us continue to put the people first, put more money at the disposal of the people and let us improve the quality of life for all St. Lucians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.